What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Heroclix video. This time we are having a clicks conversation with the winner of the ICQ in Washington. Shahilis, to be exact, right? Uh, yeah. Corey Franklin. Welcome. Woo! <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a, a, a video of of you, or, or else you know you'd probably shut down the internet with that with that with that beautiful <laughs> face, right? I don't know. <laughs> and that flowing the flowing hair, you still have. Oh long... yeah, 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 yeah. You See, saw that. you're robbing that. You're robbing oh, people no. of that. No, sorry guys. <laughs> okay, so first things first, since uh, we're gonna start off with a little of a tangent here because we're both fight fans. Who do you have for this weekend? Ooh, I have Usman. I have him winning it for sure. Okay. I think he, he'll probably like TKO it or something. Hmm. Uh, I think it's going to be five rounds decision. Yeah, possibly. Good old wrestlers and whatnot. Yeah, uh, right. I, I think Rockhold has it against uh, Costa. Costa, okay. See, I, that dislike, was a little bit I just like Costa so much. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like him. Yeah, you know what? He's yeah, that guy is a weirdo. And I mean, Luke is too, but I mean, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. He's just like, wow, he's yeah. like on a different level. Yeah, he's he's at the lesser evils, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's true, huh? Uh, and the, yeah, it's gonna be tough because it's been three years since he fought, right? So yeah, yeah. So I'm hoping that they did him good over there. Right. Yeah. I know. Oh, geez. And then, uh, and what about the the just the third one? Uh, the oh, Aldo. I'm a, I'm a stand for a Jose man. He's gonna he's gonna yeah. he's gonna do something. <laughs> yeah, that one I really don't really don't know because I don't know. I, I feel like uh, like as good as Aldo is, like I feel like sometimes his fights aren't. I don't know. I felt like he kind of got gifted one of the fights. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And then like I don't know, whatever. It's 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 cool. It's, it's still I'm still glad that he's still doing it at like. <laughs> it's weird because he's it's an advanced age, but not really. But in yeah, yeah. Years because he's been fighting forever. This is like way up there, right? Yeah, but you got to add all those Brazilian years to yeah, him for sure. Exactly. So he's basically like a forty-year-old, but he's like really, <laughs> he's yeah. not even thirty-five, I think. But, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was gonna say too. Yeah, Brazilian Brazilian years, right? You got to add. Yeah, that. I I wish yeah. I was in Utah. I would go to this for sure. Oh, oh, that's right. That's your that's your. Yeah, hood. it's in Salt Lake. Oh that's man. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, here uh, I'm gonna be sharing. Now we'll get back to brat. We'll get to brass tax here. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Did it? Yep. Is I it sharing the? Okay. Cool. All right. So <clears throat> we'll just get right into it. You won our Invitational Championship qualifier up in Chehalis. Uh, shout out to you guys, the Strike Force Eagles Brothers Prob. All you guys kind of worked together, right, to get this going, which was cool. Uh, it was just Strike Force. Strike Force. Yeah, mainly they're the ones that did it, but uh, Eagle showed up. I don't think any uh, brothers props brothers, were there. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, you guys supported. That's good. I mean, 13 players here, it's good, uh, considering this is like a format you guys don't really play. Um, this is on a Sunday, you know, oh, yeah. and, and there was an event on Saturday, but I'm I'm glad that you had more players on Sunday than Saturday. Oh, yeah. That was wild. <laughs> yeah. We were expecting you and, uh, you and Alyssa to just – Oh, up, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, you know what? I it she already won a couple of them, so she's like kind of like whatever. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That makes you know what sense. I mean? Like that's why she's also not gonna go to uh Arizona. One of the reasons it's like she already won two, so she's like, I think I I think I made my point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you definitely her. have. So all right, so there were uh, 13 players there. Uh good comp. I, I saw that the names there, and you know, obviously it's like you guys have some really good um good players up there especially team building right that's so you're one of like the i would say the two top team builders um three if i so i would say zach you and uh pastor brian right oh yeah, yeah. i would say you guys right. are like the three always coming up with stuff out of left field or whatever just new stuff whatever and obviously yeah this is the first event where x of stores is legal oh yeah so how did you come up with this team? Because this is a mystical theme team. It's really cool. I, I like, I mean, you're playing Mad Jim Jaspers. Come on, man. I had to. Uh, give me one second. All right. Oh, now, yeah. it's a, now it's a podcast with uh, an eagle. <laughs> uh, beer of the episode is Animal Cookies from Block 15. Down in Corvallis. What up? <laughs> Dang, only if you can only show that. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, so, yeah, I played this because we had that last chance dance uh, event that we had, like, I think last month or something. Mm-hmm. Where we just played, like, you had to play, like, two items that were rotating. Okay. Uh, so it must have been before July. Um, so I played a mystical team also, which had Blackheart and Reign of uh, the Rain. Uh, Rain Matt Bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I was I was still rocking a Doctor Strange, uh, Faust, and a Tricet and a Wendigo. So I had t- oh, no, no Tricet. Oh, sorry. Uh, since you was already in bronze. It was already gone. Silver. Yeah. yeah. So it was like two Wendigos, and uh, I think I had a the common uh, Scarlet Witch from War of the Realms. So oh, like, okay. Okay. TK out and carry stuff. So pretty nice. much magic. Magic picked up that that area, and then yeah. Mad Jim just. I don't know. As soon as I saw that he had mystical, I was like, "All right, this is what I'm playing if I ever go to bronze." Oh my god! So I had this like already in my mind, and then everybody's talking about it, and I already had like blue cosmic cube on my mind. <laughs> just to okay. get the black heart. Is that the one that? Um, is that the one that gives the the? Well, which one is that one? So it's a cobit cube. So you either can okay. boop three, uh, get plus two to range and ignore uh, hindering and elevation. Oh yeah. Or you just give somebody adjacent to you a token, and if you can't second token them, you give them one penetrating damage. God, so that's like, yeah, that right there is that's ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> you're just bring so you just so that's the uh, object you put on Blackheart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would start oh, with magic. I start magic with the sword just because I was like, all right, I need another ring since I'm playing Tri Sentinel. Okay. And what pairs well get well with him is a, a free barrier. So yes. In case somebody gets too close, I can just ping him away with like a pen damage. Oh, and you know what's really cool too is like you're right. If you can always switch out the sword for the spin ring. Yeah, because I was wow. keeping like a mental note of like, all right, I'm going down. So I'd let my opponent say, like, all right, I'm going down. And I can't go back up. And they're like, okay, cool, cool, cool. So. Yeah, he's like, but you're going to take a bunch of pen damage here between the cosmic yeah. and the sentinel. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So th- they were always like, why are you going down? And I was like, oh, you'll see. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so you get them a lot with the ping damage with all this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, she would make it, and then uh, Mad Jim can make two for free as well. Oh, you're right. <laughs> God, and you just walk right through them. Yeah, yeah, that's usually that's my little trick that I had. I love, I miss the Tri Sentinels. <laughs> oh, they're, oh they're so fun, God, dude. So, but okay, most of the time with uh, Blackheart, I was just uh, three, three, uh, Kobig booping around. Oh, and my. the main reason I had it was because since I got a Reign of Terror, a lot of people just stay either on the top, like elevation everywhere. Oh, you know? oh so I usually. Oh, oh. I'll be like, all right, I'll pick this and try to energy explode you or something. Oh, but if I try, because uh, usually in modern, I I would get locked down by all these swarm teams around Blackheart, so they like block me from generating my dudes. Mm-hmm. So I would have this just so I can just get it, an exit out just in case I need oh, it. Oh, right, because it places within three. Yeah, yeah. So oh, him so- and then uh, Faust are just bopping around. Oh, so you're you can't even be. Oh my god! And then your sideline for the. For the recruiters? Oh, yeah. So uh, top two that I think you need if a, you go Mystical is Wendigo and then, like, another Tri-Sentinel. And yeah, obviously yeah. Jubilee if you oh want to go later in the rounds. Right. Or if you happen to go on an X-Men map. and they Yeah, like... yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they go after, like, my uh, Blackheart because I believe he's the only one that could uh, swap out. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then you have yeah. Venom Strange. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Dr. Strange had the Possessor just because... If you know what this team does, he usually dies really fast. So I needed that okay. impervious to keep him alive. Right. And it also, it you can also choose plus, he, he also gets like plus one. I mean, but you're never attacking with him, right? Yeah, plus one damage. If they get too close, then I'm like, all right, might as well. I'm going to try to yeah, shoot you. Okay. But nobody, yeah. nobody got that close to me, I don't think. So Just, just in the final game. So Mad Jim Jaspers did some work, huh? So... Did he yeah. impress? Like, did he did he live up to the hype so far? Yeah. Oh, for me, yeah. I I knew he was great as soon as everybody like he got shown. I was like, <sighs> he's got yeah. a ruler has- and cosmic and uh, mystical. So he has a lot of um. So he so the thing is he has a lot of hype. However, in modern, yeah, yeah, the yeah. equipment is not that great. So uh-huh. go back to silver and bronze. The equipment's crazy. Oh yeah. So like, uh, I like I was I was comparing him to paying. Just five points for a 
a perplexing free barrier that switches equipment because like if you really think about it if you put the cosmic cube on your black heart that's 30 points yeah <laughs> and then yeah. you still imagine jasper he paid for himself already he's like only five points yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. i was playing a uh, fellow eagle because it's pretty much a, a freaking eagle train that i had to go through to get up <laughs> through this uh but i was playing jelly bean and he was like wait how many points is he and i was like 35 and he's like how much was that object and i was like 30 he's all what he was like putting the math together he's like yeah exactly right <laughs> it was funny to see like the wheels turn and jelly beans oh head oh my god dude that's did you ever switch out and then drop in a blood axe or did you ever put a blood axe on anyone yeah so it was against him uh jelly bean because he was playing a thanos so yeah. i got pretty it was like probably in the middle of the match he was like getting ready to uh try to mind control me because i set up an attack and i think he was like halfway down his dial i knew he's on my control me so i got jasper right next to him and then i just switched to blood axe um oh my god dude. and then and then he tried to target me i was like nah he has battle fury he's all wait what oh no and then everybody else was like little damage and stuff so i wasn't worried so oh <laughs> wow that's sick oh my god that's so dude that's and then, yeah, and then next turn I just swap to power gem, and then I just go to town on. Uh, oh that my god! See, that's so that's so crazy. Like how you could just keep, you basically swap like three times. You can you can go three times with this basically, right? If you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, if you wanted to for sure. Okay. So when when it replaces the sword, goes to the side, right? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't so like you can actually like, you could theoretically bring back bring back that sword. Yeah, I I didn't. Uh, somebody didn't bring. Uh, the uh, Ma Maramasa blade. Mm. So I had to uh, had to ask somebody else, like, anybody have a sword? And I just panicked, and they're like, Yeah, I have one. And it was the uh, the one that goes through stop clicks. Oh, okay. So I was like, All right, that's fine uh, enough. That's, like, <laughs> that's a good consolation. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, All right, I'm fine with that. And I I knew I needed the blood axe because it's uh, the only thing that would heal if Blackheart got to like his stop clicks. Yeah, right, right, right. So I was like, All right, I'm gonna go here and just charge flurry somebody if I do. <laughs> All right, so you played against Matt, um, a Strike Force guy. Ooh, the right one. Yeah, yeah. He's, so he's playing basically like almost a stockless animal. I, I see that he made a change here by dropping a Wendigo, adding a Grod and a um, location bonus. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. Other than the stock animal list. Um, how, how did that game go? Because you were talking about swarms. This is like yeah, swarm as you exactly. can get. Yeah, this is the one I was like, I was like, oh great, because uh, this was the final. It was me and him. Uh, I end up winning map. Um, we go to castle. Of course. And that's that's when I was like, getting. I did all my my usual stuff to set it up my team since I had first turn immunity. Um, he did his his same, so he tried to equip things and whatnot, and then he was just chilling there. Uh, and I hit my leadership, so I made a guard, and I was uh -oh. like, all right. I need to try to go for this alpha and just energy explode everybody because oh, I know what that titano. Yeah. So oh I know yeah. What that titano does. So I was like, all right. So I put like Faust out there, and I think I TK'd him out, um, however many squares away, and then uh, I got Who within range. Uh, it was Faust because he had the spin ring. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. You start with the spin. That's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, he had to equip it first turn. So Tricycle right. goes out, picks it up, he equips and it. Gives him. Okay, okay. Yeah. So uh, I would do that. Um, so I could, t uh, I bumped him, spinned him up, and then I TK'd him out, and I got like halfway. Um, and then or I got, so I had to have done one of those. Either I killed a guard to move up to be able to get this uh, energy explosion off, because I got within range to do it. But I didn't do the uh, what you might call it the three place boop yet, so mm -hmm. I didn't use any of that powers from that cube. But I ended up missing because I targeted Chip instead of uh, Hammerai. For some reason, I thought I couldn't see Hammerai, but I could have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so I missed. I had all these probs on it. Totally missed, and I was like, oh great. So I was up in the the top area where it, it was uh, the the elevation, not the bottom area where it's all blocking. Right. Um, so I was up there, so I booped back into a space where I would have, uh, I did the Jasper uh, blocking around me, okay. and then okay. I did the free magic blocking also up there, so that he couldn't swarm me and just, like, plug me up so that I couldn't do anything. But, oh, geez. 
So he came, he came over and plopped right behind me and started going after my support. So we took out Mad Jim and uh, Magic. So I was stuck with the uh, the Blue Jim that whole game. Okay. Um, but yeah, after he did all that, because he started poisoning things, um, hitting things with uh, his uh, samurai guy, Hamurai. Yeah, Hamurai. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but I knew. I was like, all right, I know these monsters don't have any reducers, so they're going to not like any of these mystic pings. Oh, geez. So I wasn't too worried about it. But uh, he did He did good placement and whatnot in getting what he needed to do. I would have myself would have went after Blackheart to try to get rid of it. Mm. But so I, I did a, I think I did a Wendigo charge and I took out most of his, uh, his small guy so I can just heal up. Okay. And then... I think it that lasted a turn. I made a guard, and then I power action turned them to the charge flurry things. I took oh, out a yeah hell demons. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I took out uh, I think most of his other things, which was a uh, uh, chip. Um, maybe there's another guard or oh no, I took out his uh, maggots first. That's right. That's right. Okay. okay. So I outwitted his senses, took out maggots, outwitted the other guy with another Faust's outwit. And then took out that. And then I believe he moved everybody again to go after uh, Faust. But I think I hit a six on the Super Sense against okay. uh, Amurai because he had a uh, precision strike. So I just got really, really lucky in that game. <laughs> but I think the next so, turn he took him out. So, yeah. <laughs> so, but it, so it was like, a, a, did, wait, did you able, were you able to recruit her in people in that game? Yeah, uh, he so as soon as he took out uh, Faust, that's when I brought in another Wendigo because he oh, left uh, he left Strange alone, so he was like behind Strange and behind uh, Blackheart, so he's a little bit closer to my starting area. So that's when I was okay. like, all right, I'm gonna bring this guy in and just also oh, go after these guys that have wounded tokens. Um, what was your? Uh, it was four rounds, right? Yeah, yeah. How, what was your record in the Swiss? I lost once to uh, Jared, who was playing the robot team. He also oh, okay. made it to the top four. But nice. Yeah, yeah the, lost, uh, the vision. Yeah, I lost to him just because uh, I took all his support. Then I started working on uh, vision. But he just hit a lot of his uh, super sense yeah. rolls. So. He has a lot of rollouts, right? It's like between between super senses uh, and um, shape, shape change. Like It's like every click, right? Yeah, the super senses you can't outwit, so you have to roll with it. But the shape yeah. change you can, which what I that's what I did in the second team game. Uh, cause top four it was us, and I rematched back with him, and I was like, okay. you know what, fuck this, I'm just gonna go after him and not, not oh, like, guys, yeah. yeah. So that's what I did, and I just swank for the fences, and uh, my hellfire guards took him down pretty, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> so. The what was the uh I mean yeah there was there's was thirteen players I mean obviously the the field like since you guys don't really you guys don't really play it you guys are just kind of looking at what other people are playing at other events but what was the meta game like there like what was everybody I, I saw there was some cool teams obviously because X of Swords is new um, yeah, yeah. A, what was the meta game and also were there a lot of X of Swords being played um I think there were quite a few swords that were equipped to people like they're either starting them with it. And then uh, okay. or picking them up. Okay. But how about figures? I didn't, I didn't see any other Jaspers. Uh, I think well, there was a. I think yeah. I think there was a Merlin. I'm not too sure. Okay. Um. Man. So yeah, like it, like you said, like a lot of them aren't like new to, or they're all new to uh, bronze, just yeah. playing like the older stuff. But uh, yeah, they they're pretty. Pretty unique teams, I would say. Uh, like Brian's. Brian's was this weird. What was he playing? He, <laughs> he was playing he was this, play crazy. He was playing some shame, Jake. With I knew elaborate it. Elaborate death trap. Death trap. That's right. Oh my god, he told me that. I was like, dude, if you like, how do you, how did he not get it? <laughs> well, he so, he's playing shame. So first, I went against Chip, and he was on the whole Jackson X Men swap to yeah, get I extra guess. ninety points. Uh, yeah. He just overextended, and I took him down since all my guys do penetrating damage. Um, second game was against Brian. He uh, So Chip won map against me, and then Brian won map against me, and he didn't have a theme. Um, we went to Stark Tower. 
uh, he had a boxing ring. Um, he had a gamma bomb. He uh, he had Darwin on his team, and I know what oh, Darwin yeah. does. And I had a possessor, so I was waiting and biding my time to uh, to do this awesome play with oh, uh, my possessor. Yeah. God. So I got up to the middle into his boxing ring. He didn't move it like out of his starting area, so he was like below the steps on his side. Okay. He was just chilling, trying to make like uh, that stupid pog that does hypersonic. Yeah, yeah, okay. Which he got it out, but it was like after this. So like I moved up, I put uh, Faust on top of the gamma bomb. Boom, roll a six, disarm it. Oh, <laughs> that was like already the, you could see his face like, oh, dang it. Now and I have then, to leave. Yeah, yeah. And then next turn, since I carried up, I couldn't do anything. So next turn, I just chilled and waited for him to do stuff. So he was like, he made his uh, shard and whatnot and everything. And then, then I was like, all right, I'm going to pick this and this. And then he's like... Okay, and I was like, oh, no, I took damage. <laughs> then, I, <laughs> then I perplexed up, uh, what's his name, Pulse Wave, and then I just took out Shard oh, and everything. So, so oh, was, oh. yeah, that was, a, that, was a, <laughs> that was a fun game. So what, what do you guys, like, what's the, what do, you, what do you think of the format? Do you like it? Like, how, oh, what yeah. was the reception? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think everybody had a good time playing like old stuff that you can't play anymore. Uh, I think yeah. being able to also have like that much equipment or whatever, just old, older um, gaming things that aren't allowed anymore in yeah. the modern because mostly everybody here plays modern. Yeah. yeah, like we'll dabble in silver if we have to or whatnot. So yeah, um, I think everybody enjoyed it. Like I didn't. Yeah. Everybody had a good time for what I could tell. Um, okay, they, cool. Was. Oh, uh, go ahead, go ahead, finish. Oh, I was just gonna say, like they 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 had food and everything for us there, you know, like at the okay. They, they had like the senior center. It was pretty cool. So they had a kitchen nice. right next to us. That's cool. Um, did did um, the fact that we took out like the IDs, resources, and stuff like that, like, do you think that's better for the uh, format? Yeah, me personally, I I like that. Yeah. Uh, I like okay. that you have to build. You think it's yeah, good. So I, I like that you have to build, you have to know your team, and you have to like, you know, get that synergy between everything to right. be do do well. But right, because if you just had IDs, you can just be, oh, I'm gonna play Leech. Yeah, that's. I'm like, ugh. I'm gonna get so close to you with my Shatterstar, and I just win. You know. Like, yeah, uh, you know, they were because uh, that was one of the contentions. Like, oh, we're gonna go back to that. I was like, you know, I I really I, after. The ID card thing was just too much. Mm -hmm. We're just like, let's just because remember we had limited and regular, and mm -hmm. like like let's just make it one because yeah, yeah. nobody. I'm like we've talked to everyone, and for every ten, like twenty, thirty people, maybe one person will like they want the IDs. Yeah, everyone else is like, dude, we'd rather not. And then also the with the resources, they're either indifferent or like I'd rather not have to think about those as well because. That's not an element that's like in modern. So yeah. they'd have to, that's something you have to brand new learn. Mm -hmm. uh, so we try to keep it where uh, what you can play in modern is kind of like what you can play in bronze too. So it like a possessor is just an equipment. So there's just like a little bit different rules, but still equipment. Yeah. Relics are still special objects, just a little bit different rules, but everything mm -hmm. else is like kind of the same. And then obviously when the 20, so when the invitational comes, just, um, the first ICQ of that event, we will have the tarot cards legal. Oh, yeah. yeah. We just the thing is the main reason is um, I I don't I, I've explained this a couple of times is the tarot cards were introduced so late into the season that like the whole season has been without tarot cards. So we're like, let's just finish the season without tarot cards. Yeah, and then that we'll makes sense. Start twenty twenty three number and then number two, and this is the more important one. <laughs> There are no rules on like, <laughs> like uh, cutting the deck. Um, uh, can I sleeve them? Not sleeve because I opened a I opened a tarot card that was completely creased on one end, uh, and so I was like, if I want to play that, it's gonna pop up when I stack it because there's a crease. Yeah, and you're so now know I know what it is. So I was like, yeah. so what's the rules on that? And also yeah. the other one is, uh, if you look at the tarot card, actually the rules of the tarot card, it says a player who is playing a deck. Shuffles your deck at the beginning of the game and like puts it on the side or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, wait, what about your opponent cutting it? 
Yeah, yeah. It doesn't say that. So, like, of course, the judge could be like, yeah, well, that's what we're going to, we're going to, that's what we're going to allow. But if, if like a player wants to, like, rules lawyer, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't say that in the rules. Like, why are we going to, and now it's like this big thing. And I'm like, do we'd rather not have to deal with that until they come out with rules yeah. about mark cards, shuffling, cutting, and all these things because, ugh, I, it, just, just the, from the people that were asking questions at the store about it, I was like, see, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe we take this up for now. Because um, uh, we had a modern event be, the day before. Okay. Um, and we were, so we're playing, we're playing tarot. Uh, it was fine. Everybody was chill with it. And we're like, because uh, us Eagles, when we're practiced, we're like, oh, do you want to cut my deck? Because uh, yeah, a lot of yeah. us, you know, play magic. So yeah, it's exactly. Just, it's like the same thing almost. So yeah, uh, everybody that we played was like, uh, here's my cards, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Look at my build sheet. But uh, here they are. You can look at them if you want. Um, and then we shuffle it. And then I was like, hey, you want to cut my deck if you want? I, I don't care. And they're like, yeah. oh, okay. And then yeah. you can do the same to me. So it, it just worked like that, you know? But yeah. it's all up to the venue or the event people and judges. Well, I, guess. I, I think the difference is you guys all know each other. Now yeah. imagine going to worlds where you don't know people. And oh, they yeah, play yeah. Definitely yeah. over there. That, there. That's a big difference because if I, I'm telling you right now, if, if like Wes Summers is a <laughs> by the book guy, okay? Just, I'm just telling like, there are people like him. Whether or not he's right or wrong, like he's gonna tell you what the rule is, and if, if there's nothing, you know what I mean. It's like that that whole rules lawyer thing. Yeah, yeah. And and you know, the whole spirit of the game, whatever. But like, it needs to be explicitly written in the rules yeah. that do that, or else he'll just be like, no, you can't. <laughs> so, you know. So I think that's that's the main thing that uh, my biggest trepidation is like when you go to a place outside of your region. And yeah. you play against those people, you gotta. Everyone has to be on the same page, uh -huh. and in order everybody be on the same page, you need to have it all written down. So, that's my only thing. Um, but after looking at tarot cards, I, I, I think they're they should be okay. What, what do you th what do you guys think? Uh, yeah, I think what you're doing is fine. Like to see, how, like test the waters, see how it is, and yeah. wait. Oh, I mean, I mean, see. but like, uh, what do you think oh. about the tarot cards itself, like for the game? Oh, the game mechanic? It's fun. Uh, it changes a lot of stuff up. Um, I was watching Bright. Uh, not yet, I don't think. But the, that uh, Precision Strike card is really strong, especially if, if you have pick a power and you're running those cards, like, you're, you're good. But it also just depends mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. when it comes up. Because if you're banking on one card and you pull it first turn, then you're kind of screwed. Yeah. Well, if, uh, if you play Tarot... I, I, oh, so yeah. I think if you're going to be playing tarot cards, you have to play tarot or or Saturnine, yeah. because t tarot can get you through your deck in two turn in three turns. Yeah, yeah. A and you get to choose, so like you're getting like a really high chance of of getting what you're getting. Yeah. So I think that's pretty good. And she's an X Men, so she goes right on to like an X Men swap team if you really want to. Yeah, I enjoy Scry in Magic. So <laughs> yeah. It's oh cool. my god. Dude. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think exactly. I I was already uh, building with Saturn Nine because uh, she's I think she's like thirty five points. So I already have a build with ah, her. Dude. I want to try, dude. So. If you have her and Tarot, you could like, <laughs> you're, yeah, you're, you could like make your you can actually make your Tarot deck like really affect the game as opposed to something that's like a bonus yeah. or a hindrance. It yeah. could be actual your strategy now. Uh huh. Uh huh. There's, so, yeah, like, there's a lot of good things that just like get control is pretty much it. So. Yeah. Everybody's so yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. I, I think though that I'm gonna for for our season, we're gonna have to make it if they don't put it already in the rules that they, they need to be sleeved. Yeah, I think that's because we all have ours sleeved. I, I don't think yeah, anybody okay. had it not sleeved. I don't know. You want to keep okay. it nice, and it just feels good. So yeah, uh, but also it it kind of flans it out because if if they come bent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, crease the the sleeve will at least flatten it out a little bit so it makes it uh, a little bit better because um you know I, i'm just just from experience of if, have you ever played at worlds before <laughs> no but i remember you talking about this uh when you guys came through and we're all talking about tarot cards and you're like what if somebody creases this and yeah, like tries exactly to like i'll tell you like at, at worlds someone had like fake dice so like the, it's not above them to to do this yeah, like yeah. someone actually had he had fake dice, like the dice that he had were, um, 
Oh, his two, special. It was like it was like yeah, it was like four four five five six six. Those were his, yeah. that was the yeah the shape shape but, change super sense. <laughs> yeah, that guy. So it's like, well, if someone will do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. say they someone won't try this. This is actually easier than making those dice. Yeah, especially since so, they put build your own figure back on the list. So, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, they did. So, are you guys going? Are you gonna go to Worlds? I'm not. I'm not going to Worlds. Uh, Chip and Brian are going to go. Okay. Um, I think another local guy is gonna go with them to help them out. Okay. Um, I didn't have. I just wasn't that, I don't know, excited to go. Didn't, yeah. you know, I was like, dude, they should do it in Vegas. That'd be sick, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then you guys are like, yeah, we're doing ours in Vegas. I was like, oh, cool. And then I played the bronze <laughs> and I win. And then now it's like. Oh, now, yeah. Okay, so now. So, so, so Corey, are we going to segue. Vegas? <laughs> yeah, perfect segue. So uh, January 6, 7, 8, is, it's already set. We've already booked it. Uh, the schedule, everything is, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be. Um, it's called the Invitational, but basically, we're probably going to end up calling it the ClicksCon because we're going to have like it. The the, the place is like thirty six hundred square feet. We're going to have multiple vendors. We're going to have uh, multiple like side events. Uh, main like but aside from like the Invitational itself, there's going to be side events like on demand side events, and we're going to have a featured event on Friday, a co main event on saturday and then a uh a main like a, a side event on sat on sunday which the first place prize for that one is you get to get make a custom figure from hyper to sonic if you know who those guys are uh, I'm not, um, I'm from not. yeah from that's they that's he makes a lot of custom figures he posts a lot on on stuff and he does commission so we're going to commission him to make to like as have that as one of the prizes oh, that's cool so like you can whatever you want made he'll make it for you because he he made a magneto for me, and oh, uh, no. because like the legacy magneto from the uh, giant size X Men, uh, I got it in with no figure but there was a base and a card, <laughs> so I yeah so I told him and he goes yeah I'll make it so he made a top for me like a custom one so that was cool so oh, we'll do that um, and then the obviously the the Saturday main event or co main event is the the first qualifier for the 2023 season of, for the uh, the, uh, I, uh, the ICQ, the first ICQ for the 2023 season. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for for you, you'll be playing on Friday night, and there's 12. There's going to be 12 spots. And after Friday night, after the six rounds, we're going to take the top eight for Saturday. Okay. And then after Saturday, after six rounds of that, it's going to take the top four into Sunday. I see. I see. So if you so if you don't make the top eight on Saturday, you can play into ICQ, um, because the top eight is what's like the prizing goes down to twelve for the for the invitational, but the money only goes down to eight. Oh, okay, okay. So that's why like we're we're cutting at eight, but also gives the if you make if you finish ninth to twelve, you can play into ICQ. Okay. You know, or whatever. But we also have a three v three on set on Friday. Yeah. Which is uh, sealed. Oh, okay. But it's super crossover sealed. So there's going to be six different boosters from all. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be, I'll give you an example. If, if we can get all these, we're going to get it. It's one booster of X of Swords. Okay. One booster of uh, a modern set. So the newest set, which is X of Swords. And then there's Rise and Fall. That's a modern. And then Xavier School, which is a silver. Mm -hmm. And then Uncanny X-Men is bronze. And then mutation and monsters, which is golden, and then the sixth one, well, if we can get it, is mutant mayhem, which is golden pre-carded. Oh snap! So those are the six boosters that. Um, <laughs> but if you think about it, look, they're all X Men, right? So like, yeah, yeah. they'll be oh. kind of cool to see all the different X Men theme teams you guys can make. Oh okay, yeah, I see that now. Right? See, yeah. it's it's six X Men sets, but all throughout the history of Heroclix. So, boom, six boosters, open them all. Three, you know, three guys make three 300 point teams and go. Until that one team pulls all the chases and all of those different boosters <laughs> for uh, the sets. <laughs> well, we're, well, it's the, um, it's so, we're, if we, I don't know how many teams we're going to get. We're going to get a, we're only going to get a brick. Oh, but you mean like if, if they get the, if the one team gets all the, the chases yeah. from the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they could. <laughs> that, that would be amazing. But uh, I mean, that, 
Uh, I think there were no chases in Mutation Monsters. No chases. Oh, okay, so in... it's not possible. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, two sets, two sets have no chases, but uh, there are no God Packs. So, <laughs> but then you know, like let's say let's say you pulled a chase from like, I don't know, uh, Uncanny X Men. Some of yeah. those are kind of expensive now for oh, yeah. price uh, point wise. So maybe it might not be good. Maybe it is. I don't know. But that's yeah. why it should be. It should be cool. So that's that's the uh, that's our invitational. So that's why you have to come, you represent, bring your guys, because you oh, yeah. won. And this is basically right up your alley, man. Because you you already you already know what the format is. Yeah, sounds fun. Uh, yeah, I think so. we're we're planning on it. So okay, cool. Because Chip was he was hitting me up. I, I know that uh, uh, Brian said that he was gonna. Or Chip told me that Brian's gonna judge at um, the the Clicks Cup. Is that right? Uh, I think he called it off, so he's oh he, he did he is he is available. So yes. Oh okay. What do you mean he called it off? Like uh, he that- he decided because you guys are running both events on like the same day, I think, or same same weekend, I think. So he's like, oh, okay. uh, I think we're gonna go to the bronze. So. Oh okay. Oh oh, so he's gonna all right. Just for you, he Pat. He's coming Shadow out. Star. Just he's coming out just for you, Pat. Oh, <laughs> look, man. We're gonna we're gonna be up there. Just to see you guys. So. Me and Jeff. Oh yeah, I heard that. That's not gonna be fun. So, we are uh, we're already planning. I told him because we he wanted to work on teams, and I'm like, let's just wait. What everybody's playing at Worlds, and let's see what happens. <laughs> well, no way. Come on, Pat. <laughs> What's up? He's like, come on, you're supposed to build everything for everybody. I know, but like, I, I don't know what, it, like, I need to see what uh, the tarot cards everybody's playing. Because I don't know, I don't really know much about them. Oh, okay. So that's why I need to see that. And also, like, I'm like, is Thanos still stupid? Like, is he still, <laughs> if he's still stupid, then I don't want to, then I'm like, I have to plan against that guy now. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, it's really more like, more of like what the top teams are. So I can, try to build against it oh yeah 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 Yeah, exactly yeah not like yeah so if 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 everyone's playing thanos i'm like oh shit okay i guess i have to play something that beats thanos yeah or whatever but i i do have a couple spicy brews oh my god if if your highlander rules were not into effect i would (laughs) i could i i have a i have a broken i have a broken combo i think it's broken i can oh my god i want i want to talk about it but i can't now it's extreme highlander meaning like Everything has a unique ring, pretty much. Everything. Okay. Damn it. Yeah. I thought it was only for like, if I played, he can't play it. But like, I could still play multiples. No, nah, no. Nah. Okay. Oh my god. Oh man. If if I, I'm gonna I'm gonna test the bronze version of it this weekend in in Arizona. Oh. Okay. But, uh, okay. I'll just tell. Oh my god. It, I'll just tell you this. It it. I'll, I'll give you one hint. It it has. It's a collector team. With multiples of the same person. The same like set number. So h- how did I do that, right? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh man, but I was like, I could do this, and we're like, oh, extreme Highlander, we can't. I was like, oh, okay. So then, all right, we have to scrap that. We have to change it up. <laughs> but um, but yeah, we're already thinking about it, so we're excited to go check it out. Nice. Should be fun, man. You yeah, guys expect yeah. a lot, like probably yeah. thirty. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Um, we've been. Uh, everybody knows about it. Um, it's the big one that we always keep trying to hype up. Um, yeah. and it's at it's at Gone Guy Games. Yep, Home store at the Eagles. Eagles five at checkout. Save five percent off your hero click needs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, we're gonna uh, we're gonna stay at that hotel like right down the street too. Yeah, that's a good spot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was just it's just right there too. It's like half a mile. Yeah, you can just walk over. Go yeah, we it. if we rewind, it's like if we just walk there, we want. But, <laughs> um, but there's like. On the way there, though, there's, like, no sidewalk. Oh, there's like yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. just, like, so I was like, eh, maybe we don't do that. Uh, dang <laughs> it, dang it. <laughs> but, man, that's cool, man. I'm so glad that 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 you guys all played. You guys had a, a pretty good turnout, and you you did well. Because yeah. you are the, like, it's fitting that, like, a team builder wins. Because <laughs> this is, like, like, we always say, like, this is, like, the, this is like the team builder's paradise. If, if, if you if you have like that skill, then you should like be ahead of everyone. I think. Yeah, yeah. I just like mysticals, and I wanted to play black card again. And reign of terror is just so good with yeah. them. So, reign of terror. Like, 
Yeah. That's where I just started with it. So <laughs> that's cool, man. Well, um, that's th- thanks for coming on. Uh, that was a nice little clicks conversation we got there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, can I do some shout outs real quick? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, shout out to the Codays who help uh, practice with me on Roll Twenty and whatnot. Shout out to Steve DiCarlo also helped play uh, into my boys, the Eagles, uh, Walter, Brian, Daniel, and David. Love you guys. Thank you. And Strike for Five, five. Thank you again for putting on the event and having a good time with us. So sweet. Yeah. And with that, uh, we'll see you guys next time. And remember, only bad players blend the dice. See ya. Get wrecked, nerds.